what I want to show you is actually how to make your own student. And I think once we do that, it'll make um, using ProLocal a lot easier. So we're going to go over here to the Options button. And I'm going to tap. And right now I have student 1, 2, and 3. And I'm going to go Add a User. And the name is going to be Students 4. Okay, now I'm pressing the next one, and I'm going to have this as default. If I wanted it to be um, a copy of Student 2, that smaller vocabulary, but I still wanted to edit it some, I could make this a copy of Student 2. And then Student 3 is another one I, I did, and I'll show you later. So if you have made a communication, some pages for a student, and you like that, you could always copy it for the new student instead of remaking it. But we're going to practice making our own. Now when you go to vocabulary, okay, core word, that is the first one I showed you. That's a six by six grid, very, very large vocabulary. Basic communication is the one you're looking at now, and it's a four by four and a, a lot less. But we're going to use blank vocabulary, the third one down. Okay. So up here we're going to go add user. So we have what we want. Our student number four, we're in default, and our vocabulary is going to be blank. So I'm going to hit save in the corner. And now it's bringing up, this is going to be the profile for student number four. And you can see student four is checked. So we are in the profile, and I, let's say this is a lower level student, and I need to make it fairly, fairly uh, easy. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add a folder. So I go here to my edit, and right here, add folder, and I'm going to add a new folder. And up here, I'm going to tap in the folder name, and it's going to be called My House. Mm -hmm. Now it gives you pictures, or you could tap here where it says tap to edit and look for other other pictures. I'm going to just use theirs for right now, and um, in a minute I'm going to show you how to put some photos in. So if I like that, I'll say done. I could edit some more things on this folder. Remember, this is a folder. I could change the background color. I could change the border color, the width, the text, um, the voice properties. But right now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is, and I'm going to say done. Okay? And now I'm still in my edit mode, so I'm going to hit done. And now I'm back, and I have a My House folder. So if I click on here, then there's nothing, because I haven't put any buttons in the folder yet. So we're going to go to um, My House, we're going to go to Edit, and now let's practice adding buttons. So I'm going to add a button, and this is going to be Dad. Oops, I'm sorry, I want that capital. Dad. Now, I want a picture of this student's dad, and I could either take a picture with this, I could have them email me a picture and sync my iPad to my computer and download it. Um, I'm going to use some Google images that I downloaded, and I'll show you in just a minute how to do that. So I'm going to tap on Dad, and it says, do I want to delete their picture? Do I want to choose one of their symbols or choose a picture? And I'm going to say choose a picture because that will go to My Photos. And I'm going to click on my Save Photos. And here's my Google Dad. Now, you can move and scale these pictures. This one doesn't want to move or scale too much, but I'll show you on the mom it will. I'm going to say use this picture and say done. And now I have my dad button. I'm going to do, and we're still in the edit mode. I'm going to do add a button. And this one's going to be mom. And again, I want my own picture of the student's mother. So I'm going to go choose a picture, my save photos, and here's mom. Now, mom, I really don't need her arm like that, but I like, again, this is a Google image. So I am going to move her around and see how I have moved and scaled her. So it's a kind of a nice way to crop. And there I have mom's picture. And let's do another one, add a button. And this is going to be 
Sissy, my my um, student sister. Now notice it does not recognize the name Sissy, so it doesn't give me any photos. But I could go find one of their symbols, or again, I'm going to choose a photo I have, and we'll use Sissy. Let's say use, okay, and done. Now let's say uh, my student has a cat, and we want to put the cat's picture in here. I hit my home button, and I'm going to go to Safari. And under Google search, I'm going to type in cat. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go up and tap on images. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. And let's say I know they have a yellow cat like this. So all I have to do is tap and hold on the picture. And I'm going to now select Save Image. Okay, and now that cat is here in my photos. There it is. So it's great if you need pictures for curriculum. You can go right on um, Safari and Google and any pictures you would need for curriculum. So let's go back to Proloquo. We're going to add a button. We're going to type in the name hmm, uh, Fluffy. For our cat, go up to edit, choose a picture, save photos, and there's, oops, it didn't quite get it, sorry. Choose a picture, put the cat in, use, there we go, and done.